after this video lesson, you are expected to balance redox reactions using the change in oxidation number method. A redox process involves the coupled reactions of oxidation and reduction. Oxidation involves the loss of electrons by the substance being oxidized. The substance that oxidizes is called the oxidizing agent and causes itself to be reduced during the process. Reduction involves the gain of electrons by the reduced substance. The substance that reduces it is called the reducing agent and in turn causes itself to be oxidized. You might need the acronym OIL and RIG as guide in balancing redox reactions. OIL stands for Oxidation is Loss of Electrons. And RIG stands for Reduction is Gain of Electrons. In oil, X is oxidized by Y. X loses electrons. X is a reducing agent. And X increases in oxidation number. While in rig, Y is reduced by X. Y gains electrons. Y is an oxidizing agent. And Y decreases in oxidation number. We are going to balance the following redox reaction by the oxidation state change method. First step is assign oxidation states to all elements applying the basic rules discussed in the previous video entitled Assigning Oxidation States. Like for the reaction, Ba plus H2O yields BaOH2 plus H2 the oxidation states of the following elements are as follows. For Ba, it is 0. For H, it is positive 1. For O, it is negative 2. For Ba, under the product side, is positive 2. O is negative 2. And H is positive 1. And H is 0. Next step is to determine which elements showed an increase and decrease in oxidation states and determine which element is the oxidizing agent and which element is the reducing agent. As you can see, barium had an increase in oxidation state from 0 to positive 2, while hydrogen had a decrease in oxidation state from positive 1 to zero. Based on the OIL and RIG acronym, the element with an increase of oxidation number would be the reducing agent, which in this case is the barium element, while the element with a decrease in oxidation number would be the oxidizing agent, which in this case is the hydrogen element. Thus, making barium oxidize and water being reduced. The third step is to determine electron loss or gain. Barium's oxidation number increased from 0 to positive 2, having 2 electron loss, while hydrogen had a decrease on its oxidation state from positive 1 to 0, gaining 1 electron making it unbalanced for electron loss and electron gain. The fourth and final step is to balance number of electrons lost or gained and balance the element oxidized or reduced. As you can see, we have two electron loss while we only have one electron gain. By adjusting the number of mole of water from one mole to two moles, we now have Two electrons gained derived from multiplying 1 by the coefficient of 2, making the equation balance as well as the loss and gain of electrons.
let's have the second example. The oxidation states of the following elements in the chemical reactions are as follows. For potassium permanganate, K is positive 1, Mn is positive 7, and O is negative 2. For sodium sulfate, Na is positive 1, S is positive 4, and O is negative 2. For potassium sulfate, K is positive 1, S is positive 4, and O is negative 2. And for sodium permanganate, Na is positive 1, Mn is positive 7, and O is negative 2. Now, inspect for any increase or decrease in oxidation state of any of the elements. Do you see some? There is none, right? Therefore, this is a non-redox reaction. Now it's time to challenge yourselves by answering this task. I just do hope that you have learned a lot from this video lesson. Till next time, goodbye!